Hi guys, welcome back to another Daily Tarot card. These are your Daily Tarot cards for Thursday, May 27th, 2021. Throne Thursdays. Today we're pulling from the Game of Thrones Tarot cards. So we have Temperance. And I definitely feel like we're having this spread go around because I definitely feel like the Soul Tribe is going through a lot right now. You know, our circle is going through a lot. And I definitely feel like with Temperance, they're talking about this balance being restored. I definitely feel like with Saturn going into retrograde, things are going into balance again. You know, with the Queen of Swords, I definitely feel like this truth. Definitely, as you pursue forward, tell the speak your truth. But I feel like any truths that are hidden, I definitely get that with the Hermit card, is coming to the surface. I feel like with the Seven of Coins, like any swords that you have planted are blooming. And you're seeing that. I don't believe that you're ready for your harvest yet. I don't think that's going to come until August or September. But I definitely feel like you're seeing things bloom. Your The energy is changing. You see the positive things happening. You can see the things that you manifest are happening. You know, so just be patient and enjoy this time. They're definitely telling you, take your time to cut out some rest and rejuvenation for yourself. Don't make it all about work, work, work. A lot of us are recalibrating from homeschooling, remote school learning to, you know, the kids are at home. But I, I feel like you're still being pulled in every which way and direction. But this is where I feel like they're saying, sit there and make time for yourself. I feel like with the hermit, I definitely feel like you know what the missing puzzle piece is. I feel like you know what to do. Things are being brought to the light. I definitely feel like the you're thinking beyond the veil. This is why you're seeking out more knowledge, more of the spiritual levels. You know, I know one person in my life is really going through it. And it's like, you know, they're seeking that knowledge. They're seeking that truth. You know what I mean? They're saying seeking that mentor in some ways, but it's just like you're, they're figuring things out. And I feel like with a lot of people, you know, especially when they're talking about that portal being open, I feel like a lot of people are, you know, seeking out, you know, uh, adding skills to their skill set or uh, perfecting those skill sets or, you know, another, reaching another level in that skill set. We have the nine of coins. I definitely feel like this is from the divine. I feel like the divine universe, mother earth, God, I, for, you know, I feel like this is coming in some sort of way of, uh, in that point where it's just like, you know, I feel like it's like financial abundance, but I feel like it's an abundance in knowledge. They're saying safety and security. I feel like in a different, like unexpected things are going to start happening here. And I feel like it's going to take you to the 10 of coins. I definitely don't feel like this is like a huge windfall or anything. I definitely feel like you feel like a millionaire in your life. You will be happy. You will be content. You will feel rich in life. You know what I mean? I feel like you'll be the happiest you've, you've ever been. And I feel like they're saying giving yourself permission to be this happy. So with temperance, balance, adjustment, resources, guidance, choices, moderation, reconciliation. And I definitely feel like there are people coming back into our life and it's like, you know, forget the past and move forward. You know, definitely some of my situation, I'm like, you know, embrace everyone that's around you because it's going to be cricket soon. So embrace all the love and support you have right now. So, you know, a, a number of tests, adjustment and choices, you know, and test de definitely sticks out to me. It's like, what are you going to do as you move forward? You know, how are you, in, how are you going to carry yourself? You may be managing a huge workload, balancing budgets, negotiating with demanding people, carefully assess your priorities and you will get the balance right. Give others what they need in re responsible measure. And as I said, responsible measure, remember yourself in this. Be con but conserve your energy too. Make time to schedule and plan. Be careful for your own needs. Overall, the card asks you to for asks you to to readdress whatever is out of kilter. Contact connecting with guides and angels. So I you know this is where I feel like we're going into the the things beyond the veil. We're going beyond that. We're learning, you know, um, how to uh, work with universe and how to understand universe and you know, trust, like, you know, that, you know, you're not losing your mind that this is actually a truth. So we go to the queen of swords and I definitely, speaking of truth with the queen of swords, you know, she, you know, the truth is a must very much a balance. Again, she does represent Libra. Um, I feel like with her, it's like nothing can hide. You know what I mean? And I definitely feel like they're saying like here, like whatever is hidden, people are holding back. I feel like we'll be made to the will come to the light. The truth never hides in the dark. Single mindedness, strength, intelligence, insight. So we got strength yesterday. Um, the queen, smart, charismatic, and wise, and all allies, uh, um, and an ally up to a point. 
but she ultimately puts herself first. Apply to a situation. She advised you to trust your intelligence and insight. The card often comes up to the readiness to, uh, up in readings to show strength and character and to stand up for sing, uh, to stand up for single parents and uh, single women. But the one thing that stood out for me while I was reading that and I'm like all over the place. Trust your intelligence and your insight. Going back to temperance. Trust what you're hearing from universe. And I always tell people that, you know, you know, have, you know, something happen in their life. And it's like all of a sudden, you know, they can hear things and see things differently. It's a whole different, you know, um, world. And I feel like I tell them like, write, start writing things down, build that relationship with the universe, you know, build that relationship with God, your angels, your guides, and you will see how much further it will go. So with the seven of coins, I definitely see you things flourishing. I definitely... This is where I get manifestations, things that you have put out and you uh, you uh, trusted the universe will relieve you of these things. And I feel like this is where, you know, they're saying you're starting to see the bloomings of things. You're, you're seeing things take this turnaround now. But open be open up and, be, uh, and, and accept the um, happiness that comes to you. Don't feel guilty for feeling this way. Don't feel guilty that, you know, it's you're kind of back to the days before when this situation happened and you were happy again enjoy it they're saying you're worth it P patience uh potential effort expansion results the seven shows potential results if you're experiencing um expected a better result by now don't spend too long analyzing if you're in the right business or just made the right choices this is where they were telling me that where saturn is in retrograde where think your karma should have came into play but people forced it or maybe we made a wrong choice and this is where i was saying things are coming full circle and reversing and things that we wish we could have went back to are we can go back to the seven shows you will succeed eventually the key is to keep going and put constant effort even when work is tedious don't turn back and i definitely feel like they're don't give up like you know sometimes we're just like oh my gosh like you know what i had it you know, when that, you know, when I, that situation came up with the person, just like nothing resonated. I, I definitely feel what spirit is telling me they wanted a free reading. You know what I mean? So it's just like kind of backfired. But, you know, that that's her karma, not mine. So we have the hermit. Solitude, spirituality, truth, reflection, wisdom, self-healing and journey. I feel like because it's in the uh, in the reverse position, I feel like they're saying, you know what this truth is. Going back to the queen of swords. I feel like you know what this is and how to move forward. Uh, kind of like the devil card in reverse we got yesterday saying like you let go or you realize what you have to let go. And I feel like they're saying you have the truth in the light of your hands. Going back to temperance where it's just like you know what to do now. You know how to move forward. You know, you, you, you're, you're like listen to spirit. Listen to your intuition. So, um, isolation in a time of solitude that is unwelcome or unexpected. Support will is still available to you. Welcome the opportunity to reflect. Then approach those who can help you move forward. And definitely taking that time to reflect. Because in that reflection, like I said, a lot of truths come up. You know that hindsight is twenty twenty. When you sit there and it's like you're constantly beating yourself up for a situation and you realize it has nothing to do with me. In that moment and all that emotion, you know, you feel guilty. But then you realize like, you know what? I had no part in that. You know what I mean? It is what it is, what happened. You know, and it was meant to happen that way for a reason. And in, in time, you will realize what that was. So we have the nine of coins. Loyalty, investment, growth. The knight has a plan and lots of potential. While she or he may not be the most um, imaginative of souls, he or she is dedicated, loyal, and steadfast. Applied to a situation, the card represents long-term growth and, commit and commitment to a goal. The card asks you to examine how you may... You might sudden you how you might succeed financially in the future. What seeds can you sow? What seeds can you sow? But I definitely feel like this is someone stepping in and is going to stand by your side and is not going to move. As much as you may try to push them away, they are not moving. They're not going anywhere. You're going to sit there and say, like, you know, come on. Like, you know, I see you upset. Like, just F off. Like, you know, because you don't want them there. But they're not moving. They're not moving. They're not moving a muscle. They're like a statue. So we have the Ten of Coins as our last card. Wealth, happiness, consolidation, family, marriage. And this is where I feel like you're going to be at this ultimate happiness. And it's just like you feel like the richest person in the room or the richest person on earth. 
and enjoy it. Don't feel guilty about enjoying this. Wealth, happiness, consolidation, family, marriage. Sorry, I read that. The joy-filled ten shows consolidation, wealth, and sharing love. The card means uh, uh, meaning includes relationship, commitment, marriage, wedding gifts, inheritance, strong ties across the generations, and a close fr friendship circle. Relationships and investments mature. Additional meanings include good advice from an older person and find yourself find your dream home. And I definitely feel like it's like, you know, your thing, you know, you're living in your truth with the hermit card. You know what to do. They're showing you what to do. Someone standing by your side, unwavering loyalty. You know, even if you tell them to leave by your side, they're not leaving by your side. You know what I mean? And I feel like you're going to reach your ultimate happiness. I just feel like in those emotions at that moment, you feel that way to push everyone away. But I definitely feel like it's like, don't push no one away and, you know, enjoy that circle that's around you because you don't know how temporary that circle could be or how, you know what I mean? You push these people away and they may never come back. So just right now, if you're not thinking clearly, just tell them, give you a little bit of space. They're not going to move anywhere. They'll be like, if you need to turn around and need a hug, you need a shoulder to cry on, you need to scream, I'll be here for you, you know? So I hope you guys enjoyed these daily tarot cards for Thursday, May 27th, 2021, Throne Thursdays. May the universe bless you good. We'll see you for the next daily tarot card. Bye.